Now that we've seen the box contents, let's take a look at the K3 Nord itself. This phone's powered by the MediaTek 6752 chip. That's 8 Cortex A53 cores clocked at 1.7 GHz each, coupled to the Mali D760 MP2 GPU and 2 GB of RAM. There's also 16 gigs of onboard storage which can be expanded further via microSD. The microSD slot is found underneath the user removable pack. Here we also have two 4G capable SIM slots and a user removable 2900 mAh battery. Let's now talk about the placements. To the front, on top, we have the earpiece, sensors, 5 megapixel front facing camera and a notification LED. Lower below, we have a 5.5 inch display and a set of capacitive recent apps home and back keys at the bottom. It's worth noting that these keys are in backlit. To the back, we have a 13 megapixel rear camera, a secondary noise cancelling microphone, dual LED flash, the speaker and Lenovo branding. We have the primary microphone at the bottom, power button on the volume rockers to the right, up top we have a micro USB port and the 3.5mm headphone jack. There's nothing to the left. Once again, it's worth noting that there is support for USB OTG here. The Lenovo K3 Node is 8mm thick and weighs in at about 145 grams. The weight feels evenly distributed and the K3 Node doesn't really feel heavy. But given the form factor, you need to keep in mind that this ports a 5.5 inch display, so don't expect single handed usage to be an option at all times. Talking about the display, this is a 5.5 inch Full HD IPS display giving the K3 Note a pixel density of 401 pixels per inch. Initial impressions, it looks to be a bit of a fingerprint magnet but the display itself seems fine. Decent colors and viewing angles. It's sad to see Lenovo once again ignore Gorilla Glass protection at this price segment. Anyway, let's now move on to the software. The K3 Note runs on Android 5 Lollipop with Lenovo's Vibe UI on top. There's no app drawer here. The UI seems responsive. Again, these are just my initial impressions. We get about 1100 megs of free RAM to begin with. Note that there's quite a lot of preloaded apps that Lenovo's included here, but thankfully they do seem to be mostly uninstallable. As far as storage goes, out of the box the end user gets about 10 gigs. Anyway, let's quickly check out the camera. The shutter speed seems fast enough. The colors seem okay. And that's the 5 megapixel front camera by the way. We have a few options here. This, the settings key brings up more options. We also have 1080p video recording on board. Anyway, I'll have more for you during my full review after I use the K3 Note for a while. So with that we get the price and the K3 Note is currently available on Flipkart for 9,999 rupees. I'll leave a direct link in the description below. If you do want to pick one up, kindly use the link. That helps the channel since we get a little something back if you shop via our links. So anyway, I guess that's pretty much it for my first impressions of the Lenovo K3 Note. Hope you liked it. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, please do give this video a thumbs up. And for more videos like this, do stay subscribed. So I guess that's it for now. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this is Ash here from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye bye now.